Yo, what's up guys? It's Nick from Big Ends Gaming and welcome back to another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. As of today, I'm going to be showing you guys the most overrated part of Diamond Dynasty this year. Now, this is kind of stating the obvious a little, just a little, but I wanted to make a video on this just in case you guys weren't aware and because I kind of need video ideas. Because when you've been double uploading every single day during the summer, and when you have, counting today, like the day this video is going out, when you have 23 days straight, when you have a 23 day double upload streak that's alive, you need to just settle for some video ideas. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna be honest. But this is still an important video. So today I'm going to be showing to you guys why Conquest is the most overrated thing to do in MLB The Show 19. So first, let me talk about Conquest in the previous games. So I first got into Diamond Dynasty, like like really like into Diamond Dynasty in MLB 17. I played it in 15 and 16, because 15 was the year I got my PS4, so that was the first year I got MLB The Show. But 15, I you know played like maybe 20 games the whole year on ranked. Like didn't really play that much, didn't do like moments or anything. If there, no, not moments. Didn't even do like missions in 15 or 16. I, I focused on like Road to the Show and Franchise more than Diamond Dynasty. I didn't really play it. But MLB The Show 17 was really the first year where I seriously played Diamond Dynasty. And that, in my opinion, was the best year for Conquest. So basically, though, there was only... This is the first year where they have multiple Conquest maps. They used to only have the, the map of... The, um, of America and that was it but they would also have other challenges for the map of America so basically what they did was they did conquest which was out right when the game came out if you beat conquest you would get some really good cards I think the highest overall card you get was like a 95 or like a 90 I remember getting like a 94 Reggie Jackson who from conquest who was on my team like t until like mid-August, I think. But Conquest had really good rewards in MLB 17. And it was really good to get XP and stubs. I think I got like 60 levels by just doing Conquest in MLB 17. So, that is, um, as I just look at my phone, Russell Westbrook is now on the Rockets for, did they trade Chris Paul? They traded Chris Paul, Chris Paul? Jeez. So they traded Russell Westbrook for Chris Paul, two first rounders and two pick swaps. Well, um, that was an interruption to this video. I, I mean, I had to interrupt myself because I took a really quick glance to see what that alert was. And then it said Russ traded to Rockets. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna talk about this. So, I mean, the Rockets are probably gonna be better. He is reunited with James Harden, which is pretty cool. But Chris Paul is probably gonna be pretty heated. So Chris Paul is gonna be on a non-playoff team he's not gonna be happy he's probably gonna request a trade in like halfway through the year or something but whatever so basically with these conquest maps in mlb 17 it was so good it was a, the best way to start off your team mlb 18 in general mlb 18 was a really bad year for content um those of you who have who didn't play mlb 18 be grateful because the content was probably 20 times worse than it is this year. The content this year is probably the best content I've ever seen in a video in a card collecting video game. I'm just gonna say that right now. Conquest and MLB 18 really sucked. There was only the America map. And oh wait, and yeah, in MLB 17 in September or no in August, they made a conquest part two. So you literally just had to beat the map again. If you beat the map for your second time, you get a 99 Joe Maurer. He was a beast. I really like that card. He's not going to be in the game this year because he retired, so they lost his rights. But yeah, I forgot to mention that. So in MLB 18, they had the normal map, which I, yeah, the reward you got was 87 Luis Gonzalez, who was, in my opinion, an awful card. But yeah, so the first Conquest map kind of sucked and it didn't give you as much XP as it used to in MLB 17. And then, to start out the game, they also had Conquest Extreme, which were like, if you see these goals, 
they were like these goals, but they were super hard. It was like beat the, it was like get the whole map in like 10 turns. It was like get the Yankees in like turn three. They were really hard. I never did it because they were so hard. And because the cards would never make my team. And the best card you would get was like a 92 Matt Camden, like a 93 Yadier Molina. So that, that was another thing that was bad for Conquest. And then they came out in September with something called Conquest Destiny, where it was kind of like Conquest Extreme, but it was easier. But you only got a 94 Eddie Murray, and that was when everyone had Immortals. So it was pointless in doing. So basically, Conquest and MLB 18 was kind of bad. MLB 17, it was really good. MLB 19 is definitely better than MLB 18, just because of the variety and how they've done more than just the America map. But they need to up the ante on these rewards, in my opinion. So, by doing this whole map, you get a Thai cop. Now, I did it. I don't know if I can view his card from here. Can I? I'll, I'll just do it like this. So you get this Ty Cobb card, right? And this Ty Cobb, 88 overall, not bad. But most of us, he isn't on our teams because he is not good enough. So basically, he's a contact hitter. Contact hitters are pretty good. They're, they're actually really good this year. If this was the reward last year, it would be awful. But he's a 63 fielder. So he's an awful fielder. And he is a pretty good pinch hitter, but I mean, there are so many better options in this game for less time. So let's say you do that map, right? It's like 20 hours, I think, around there. Maybe less, no, it's probably less. 10 to 20 hours, depending on how many wins you get. Just do like the fourth inning or the third inning. You'll get like a 98 who's better who won't be on your team. So yeah, that's not a really good reward. The only ones that I recommend doing are the ones that give you program like progress, like the second inning, first inning, third inning, and fourth inning, because those give you actual progress. I do the, all these just because I'm obsessed with the game and I want to collect every card and like get everything. So that's why I do all of them. It's kind of a waste, but I just feel like doing it. So let's let's just let's just go over this. Okay. So you have to for the Mother's Day conquest. You have to conquer. You have to conquer six strongholds. So you're playing a minimum of six games, and let's say you lose some of them, you could play more. So what you get for doing this entire map, probably around like two to three hours, you get a Mother's Day bat skin and an 82 overall Julio Tejero. That is probably like the worst reward I've ever seen. You get a bat skin. You get an 82 overall who you'll never use. I've never used this card. So this is a complete time, uh, a waste of time. The inning ones are also a waste of time, but they give you progress for the inning program. So they aren't actually a waste of time. Let's take a look at the Jackie Robinson one. So you have to do you basically only have to play one game, but you have to probably spend like 10 to 15 minutes just working your way around the whole map. Let's see the reward you get here. 83 Jackie Robinson. Now this is not that bad of a card, but for ranked, this is not a good card. For BR, this is a good card. You get, you do actually get some packs, but still. Isn't there a Jackie Robinson bat skin that you get? Yeah. So you literally play for like, 45 minutes to get a really bad card when you literally could go to the market. Search Jackie. If we search Jackie, go to the market. You can literally spend like 5,000 stubs on a better version of him instead of spending like 45 minutes to get a gold version if you really wanted him. Now let's go to this, the mountain peak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven strong ones you have to do. So that's a minimum of like two and a half hours, probably. And it could be more. What you get is an 82 overall. Never gonna make my team. I only do it because I wanna collect every card. 
and because I'm a YouTuber, that's why. You also get an 81 Hal Newhouser. Not that good of a card. He's an 81. Like, these are complete waste of time for the rewards. Now, this isn't me criticizing SDS. This is just me saying that you shouldn't do this. If they give us better rewards, like diamond cards, if they give us a signature series card for doing like how they did it with Joe Maurer and MLB 17, like I said earlier, if they make it where if you do this again, you get a signature series, like a 99 signature series card, 100% do it. But the rewards are just not good enough right now for you guys to be doing these. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Big Ends Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.